Hey Sour Donation, welcome to the Round Edition. I'm Tom Herbert and I'm here in Hobbs House Bakery School in Chibbing, Surrey. And on our forum, our Sour Donation forum, we've been getting lots of requests for people asking, how do you shape a round loaf? So in this video, I wanna show you exactly that in three ways. We've got the really easy way, the quick way, and then the super skilled speedy way. So we've got ourselves here some round proving baskets, but this technique also works for a loaf that you're going to rise on a baking tray. But this sourdough is quite wet, so I need one of these proving baskets. So here I've got two kilos of sourdough dough. It's been resting here for a couple of hours. Just tip that out onto the table. Cut that in half. So we've got two one kilogram pieces. Now, as I've said in one of my earlier videos, it's really important to weigh your dough piece because the basket doesn't change size, but your dough does. And in order to work out quickly when it's optimally risen and ready to go in the oven, it's good to know how much dough you've got in there exactly. So why shape your dough anyway? Main reason is that in order for your loaf to rise with a really great shape, in a kind of uniform way, you need to be able to shape your dough piece. You could just divide out a kilo, dump it in the proving basket, and it would never be as beautiful as it could be. So learning how to shape is super important. Let me show you the simple way first. So just the smallest amount of flour on the table. You don't want too much, otherwise you're gonna get raw flour into your bread and that's not good. Now, I call this a pinch and push method. So you just flatten it out a little bit so you know, you've got a round shape there. Now, I like to think of this as being like the face of a clock. Okay, just visualize that. So you start at 12 o'clock, you pull it out, pinch it and you push it in. Then it creates a kind of seam here at one o'clock and pull that in. And I like to pull it just over where the centre of the hands would be because if you only push it into the middle, you'll end up with a dip in the middle of your dough. So you have to pull it slightly across. And what we're doing there is we're creating tension on the outside of the dough, kind of folding it in on itself so it's held together really evenly and really nicely. So just work around a couple of times until it starts to come together in a nice round shape, like this. Okay, that's super simple, right? Then you flip it over, and then just cupping it loosely in your hands, just push it together till you've got this beautiful round shape. Now flour the basket. This is to make sure that the dough doesn't stick to the basket. Put a little bit on, on the outside of that. Now, it's important if you're using a proving basket to put the dough piece upside down. So we turn it upside down, you notice that's where all the knot is. So that goes into the basket like that. And then, as always, you need to cover that. You don't want the dough to be left in a way that it could skin over and get a leathery crust on the outside. Okay, let's move on to the second slightly faster technique. Watch and learn. So here, I'm just going to use my hands to fold it in on itself. This feels much more natural to me. I'm kind of folding it in, using my thumbs and the whole of my hand, rolling it around on itself, just the tiniest bit of flour on, on the workbench. Now, same as before, and this is much quicker and gives you a really nicely shaped loaf with a little knot underneath. Flour in the basket, flour in the loaf, and upside down into the basket, cover it, and leave it to rise. Okay, so they are the really simple way and then the quick way. Now for the super speedy, skillful way of doing it. If you come to work at Hobbs House Bakery as a bakery apprentice, by the end of your uh, apprenticeship, you'll need to know how to shape two loaves at the same time. Obviously, this is a great saving in uh, time if you're making lots and lots of loaves. So this is something to work up towards. And here, we're using the pressure of pushing them together. They need a little bit of flour on them so they don't stick. And then using the heel of my hand to kind of push the dough down and underneath. So, there you have it. Great fun way to mould two loaves at once. So, let me know how you get on. Ask any questions below or if you've got questions you want to ask about sourdough, anything to do with sourdough, go across to Sourdough Nation, go on our forum and ask questions there. And you may find they've been asked already. And we'll do our best to answer them as quickly as possible. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope you now feel confident to shape a round loaf. And, um, well, happy baking!